<laughs> oh well, how are you feeling? What? What the? <laughs> Sayori's mother forecast. For forecast. I was gonna say forecast, but that's my uh, that's uh, I I'm such a dumb. <laughs>sleep deprived welcome back to another ddlc mod video and today we are going to play doki doki cliche club now that's a name i never heard of in a long long time oh wait so yeah i didn't know this mod was going to be out this year considering that it's just february or january but hey we're starting the year off really well because uh, va has been pumping out a lot of stuff lately and i'll be taking a look at those when we get to those and uh yeah, so um, I'm looking forward to see more stuff from uh, from various artists. So uh, keep it up, you guys. Um, looking forward to play more of your stuff anyway. So anywho, you guys know the drill. And what time is it? It's Doki Doki time. <laughs> something something fan mod not affiliated with Team Silvato. We already know this all same sing and dance or whatever. Carcer's the VA logo. Middle text. <laughs> Generic main menu. Okay, so uh, let's get this uh, show on the road. Course pin. There we go. Why am I back here? Did you do this, Finn? Why did you bring me back here? Are you here to torture me? Don't you remember? There's no happiness to be found in the Lurcher Club. Because, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go on some long rant through choice boxes to show that I'm the player and not MC, despite not a, not saying exactly what the player would. Essentially, being meta in a way that the player takes <laughs> that the takes the player out of the game. Bear with me here. Uh, okay. <laughs> Anyways, I believe that you can fix things and make the Lurcher Club a place where happiness can be found. I also truly care about all of you and I and want to help you and the rest of the club. Don't you owe it to them to try and give the club another chance? I guess I do. Also, you came back, didn't you? You even modified the game to give us a happy ending. I mean, there are like a bazillion mods out there to give, well, each of you a happy ending, so there's that. Alright, I'll see what I can do. I love you, Finn. And um I'll I only like you as a Mona I only like you as a friend, Monica. Sorry. <laughs> uh Oh, Finn. One last thing. Since this mod is about being generic or whatever, it would be kind of funny if you, I if you, it would be kind of funny to make you play through Act One unchanged and would cover a lot of mods. But I care about your sanity, so I guess I'll ask. Do you want to skip the mod or play through all of Act One? Hmm. We already know this the same old sing and dance here, so we're just gonna skip right through it. Very well. Sayori? She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I'm doing I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house. That is really something a boyfriend would do, isn't it? In any case, this feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori, wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really don't have to enter her room. Kind of breach of privacy, leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. Hey, there's the PTSD. What? Oh, I wake up with a jump. Was that a nightmare? Wow, that sure was a wacky dream. Ah, oh, thank goodness we ain't gonna go through that again. No way, no how, sir. Something about that dream doesn't sit well with me. Especially after hearing Sayori talk about her depression yesterday. I wonder if I should go check on her. I mean, of course, I'm concerned about her, so we're gonna check on her. I may be crazy considering it's 12.35 in the morning, but I can't shake the feeling that something's wrong. I think I should go and see if she is okay. 
I briefly get changed into some scruffy clothes and head to Sayori's place. As I step out of my house, the cold air sends a few shivers through me. I approach Sayori's house and open the front door with the spare key that she left in the lock. I chose not to question that for now and head inside. Yeah, the person sneaking into your home at 2 in the morning totally isn't terrifying. I mean, you guys invited to each other in, well, each other's house, so I guess it's like the new norm. I mean, you guys are best friends and all, so that makes sense. And plus, I already know this. Thankfully, I, since I've been here so often, I... What? I can, I, I can make my way through the downstairs with little trouble even without the light. Okay. Okay, a thump. I trip over a chair and fly head first into a table. Ow. Oh. Well, that wasn't ideal. I get up and climb the stairs. I feel another shiver. Something just feels so wrong about this place. Why now of all times? Oh, that's why. I run downstairs and close the front door before heading back outside Sayori's room. Alright. Ah, that's much better. It seems as if her light is still on. Well, I ho let's hope I don't end up on a <laughs> tier 15 offender list for this. What? <laughs> or her hand? No. I gently open the door. So you what? Huh? Seems like she's not here. This is my chance, I need to cut that down. I hear rustling from under her sheets. Is she trying to hide from me? You'd think she'd be she'd get better at hide and seek someday. Wait, why are her lights on if she's in bed? Also, well, who turns on the light in the room they hide in? I gently approach the bed. Say ah. Sayori jumps and I feel something wrap around my neck, tugging me onto the bed. Hey, 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 it's me! I feel the grip loosen. Oh, Finn, what are you doing here? You scared me really bad. Sorry, I just felt like something was wrong, so I figured I'd come over. I remove whatever was around my neck. It's, uh... News? Oh, right. The, um, the self-defense news. Get one now and you'll, um... Well, get your self-defense news. By two, you'll get a copy of Doki Doki Cliché Club, which is this mod right here. <laughs> oh yes, now I remember that one commercial that me and Sayori worked on from uh, I Gently Opened a Door. Ah, memories are starting flooding back. Huh? Sayori, why do you have a noose? Huh? Oh, this is my trusty self-defense news. It's also a backup in case my other one breaks or someone randomly throws it out like my mom did last time. What do you mean, other one? Sayori points towards the ceiling. Wait, why is there a news on the ceiling? Oh, now you notice. Thank you. And of course, obviously, since if I'm going to save her, I'm going to cut that down. No way, no how. I ain't going to let this happen again. In a chair below it. Sayori, where are you going to? <laughs> well, there's no getting out of this one, is there? A silence follows. I mean, not really. Alright, time for an emotional heart to heart or something. Look, Sayori, I'd be really sad if you died. Like, really sad. It would suck. And everyone else in the club would be sad too. Of course. I mean, I would be sad if it, if you weren't here anymore, Cinnamon Bun. Sayori looks at me with slight annoyance in her eyes. You don't get it. Look, I can't promise I know what's going on in your head, but we all care about you. Sayori, listen to me. I'm not letting you go. Please don't do this. Let us talk it out. This isn't a solution. This isn't how your story ends. We all love you, Sayori. We'll always be here for you. Sayori launches forward at me, wrap gently wrapping her arms around me. 
I follow suit as she begins crying. I'm sorry, Finn. She has trouble speaking through her tears. I was so selfish. It's okay, Sayori. I'm just glad you're still here with me. Sayori wipes her tears off of her cheek. Sayori, can I ask something of you? Yeah? What is it? Mind if I sleep on the couch tonight? Why not in my bed? If I'm going to sleep her on her bed or with her, you already know what's going to happen if I do. You know what? Nope, scratch that. We ain't doing that this time. <laughs> and like I said, I was going to shut up about that mod anyway, but still... No. <laughs> because we aren't far enough in this mod for a commitment like that. Huh? I don't know, but I'm gonna head downstairs. See you tomorrow. Oh, I fall down the stairs. Oh, that hurt. I crawl to the couch and pass out. Oh, alright. <laughs> it's time for the festival. I go to my house and grab whatever I helped with over the weekend. Sure looks great. I think everyone will like it. You ready to go, Finn? You know it. I'm sure nothing will go wrong. Absolutely. It did not go well, ladies and gentlemen. What? What? Oh. <laughs> oh, you sure got me there because, well, everything is ablaze. I don't know what happened, I guess. I show up the club room, the atmosphere and tray of cupcakes in hand. Man, it sure was great I was able to help everyone on the weekend. Hello, Finn. I'm sure the festival is going to be amazing. Just imagine that we're hanging out. Ah, uh, <laughs> funny. No, it's not. Also, good job for not leaving her hanging. Well, what can I say? I ain't doing that again, ever, ever. Monica shoots me finger guns. Oh, huh. that was strange. Yuri and I set up the banner in the club room. Wow, that looks so cool. Thank you, Sayori. I turn my focus on the cupcakes that are left out. Sayori is tempting to snatch one of them because of course she is. Sayori! Ah, get back here! <laughs> At this time, students begin to pour into the classroom. Shortly after, Monica addresses them. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Literature Club. For our club's performance, we're going to be reading poetry. Hope you all enjoy, and that shows you a whole a new world of writing. I'll be showing my poem first. It's called Help, I'm Stuck in a Video Game. <laughs> uh, totally not suspicious at all, huh? Monica voice Monica's voice carries across the room, her voice clear as she reads her poem. Her inflection is pristine. All eyes are on her as she reads her poem. As she finishes, a round of applause echoes throughout the room. Next up is Sayori, who bounces to the podium. No hanging around for her, am I right? <laughs> no. Okay, my poem is called, um... Theosaka Winter Report! <laughs> what? Okay! <laughs> Today will be a partly cloudy with a high of 85 degrees and the... Oh, where was I? Oh, right. It's currently 80 degrees with a low of 71 for today. But for the next three days, it's gonna be sunny. That means no rain clouds. Sayori hops a little bit content. It seems that nobody is paying attention anymore. Well, I do. I, I pay attention to her, even though that's just a, a little weird something mod or whatever. Hmm. I hear Natsuki mumble. My blood boils as I see cupcakes ra cupcake wrappers littering the floor. After she sits down, Yuri cautiously approaches the front of the room. Hello. My name is Yuri, and... Uh, my poem is called... Wait, what? My poem is called The After. 
Yuri collapses out of fear. I can hear other students snickering for a bit before laughter erupts in the classroom. Natsuki storms up from her seat. Excuse me? Rain drips from her normally cutesy face. Someone could have died and you laugh? If you're gonna laugh at someone for sharing something they care about, you should head out the dorm you came in. We're only here for the cupcakes anyway. Oh my... Oh, this, of course, I've heard this before in, um, in, in Blue Skies. Everyone beelines for the door, leaving a fuming Natsuki alone with us. Perhaps they, too, were scared of the little pink gremlin. <laughs> Silence and tension fill the room as only the club members remain. Assholes. I hear Natsuki mutter something under her breath. Uh... After a wait that feels like a century, Monica speaks up. Well? She has a look of anguish painted onto her face. Uh, we failed, didn't we? What else is there to it? Natsuki? I? Monica sighs deeply. It seems as if she's having to hold back tears. We didn't fail. Failure is not learning from your mistakes. We can learn from this and do better next time. Next time? I didn't prepare you guys at all up until a few days before. If it's anyone's fault, it's mine. Monica. She turns to look at me. It wasn't your fault. We did the best we could. You're right. Natsuki huffs and sits down at one of the desks. I walk over to Yuri who is still on the floor. I gently tap her face. Wake up, Yuri. It's me, Finn. Are you alive? Yuri shifts. Monica appears next to me. She hoists Yuri onto her arm and sits her down on it at a desk. Yuri's eyes flutter. What? What happened? What? My head hurts. You passed out after walking to the podium. Are you okay though, Yuri? Yuri buries her face in her hands. I guess that's why they're why they're the only ones in here then. I begin to hear sniffles. No, it's not your fault. How? Well, you were nervous, and your body can't control what it does in those situations. Not only that, I didn't prepare you well enough. Monica huffs. I begin to clear up cupcake wrappers. The air gets heavier as the others follow suit. In a short while, the room is clear. Well, I'm sorry that this didn't turn out as planned. It's okay, Monica. We did our best and that's all that matters. As Natsuki, as Natsuki said, people can try and that's about it. Uh... I guess so. <laughs> Can't fit your face and can't with her face as well because well, because it's Sayori. I, I like this uh, this uh, this this uh, snarky smile of hers or whatever. It just just makes her look cute and mischievous sometimes. Okay, everyone, I think it's best we get out of here for a little while. I'll see you all here tomorrow. All right. Now with that, we all leave the club. I tell you what. We need a root choice just about now. So I think that... Oh! Oh, we got choices now? Now! That's a first. Well, aside from the other ones, from the uh, from the previous mods that I played. Uh, Yuri's nice, not Monica's nice, Natsuki, so Yuri's nice. You know what? Just for safe keeps, I'm going to save that there and... Uh, Alright, let's go for Sayori's so nice. Because, why the heck not, right? I freaking love Sayori, what can I say? <laughs> Sayori is nice. Huh? <laughs> huh? Uh, thanks, Finn. Uh, I, uh, said that out loud, didn't I? <laughs> yup. Well, what can I say? She is nice. The bun prances away, giggling. Even though we were supposed to walk home together. It's mostly silent as Sayori and I walk home. Finally, Sayori speaks up. So, 
What made you comp what made you want to compliment me so bad? Oh no. I feel my face grew red. Well, I just figured maybe acknowledging why I enjoy being around you would be kinda helpful for you know. For what? You know the whole overused rain cloud metaphor thing? <laughs> oh, right. Well, thanks, Finn. The girl with the cinnamon bun like hair wraps my arm and wraps my arm in a hug. I feel a certain something against my arm. What? Is it her pair of uh, cinnamon buns? Definitely yes, and I. Uh. uh, uh <laughs> thanks, Say Say. Now I, I have now officially created the worst nickname of all time. Say Say? Um. I don't know, Sai <laughs> Sayori Cinnamon Bun, I mean Sai Sai, I don't know, it just sounds okay to me, I think, but eh, I don't know, it might be worse, could be good, I don't know, it's a mixed bag, I, I, I kind of like it sometimes, but uh, yeah, I admit, I think it just sounds the worst, but at the same time, sounds nice considering the other uh, common nicknames and all, I think Sai Sai sounds, uh, sounds okay. She releases her grip on me. Shortly after, we arrive at my house. See ya, Sayori. Bye. We part ways and I enter my house. I'm incapable of doing some doing anything interesting without someone else that surrounds it plot-wise, so I go straight to bed. Alright. I awaken to a very annoying alarm clock at P3. <laughs> Groggily climbing out of my bed, I get dressed and head downstairs to get some food. Alright. It's always empty in my house since my parents are always out on business trips, trademark. I all I do pretty good for myself, but it kinda gets lonely sometimes. Stepping out of my house, I'm excited for another day of school. I mean club. I'm reminded of the day on Sunday that happened. Yeah, that's pretty neat. It sure was great that I helped everyone. Hey Finn. My mind is brought back into reality by a cheery voice. Hey yo, Sayo. Er, Sayo, whatever. Ready to head to school? You know it. Heck yeah. School didn't happen and now we're at the club. Hey Finn, good to see you again. You too, Monica. Wow, she's so popular and cool. Well, we can save time for not by not making him room. Uh, Krim? Okay. Didn't we say it got cancelled? Sorens? I assume these are the names of the various artists, uh, dev... Uh, mod devs? Uh, I'm pretty sure it is. Well, oh. Ah, <laughs> oh, you, uh, you thought I didn't see that. As I look around the club room, it appears everyone is here already. Good, 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 good to see you again, Finn. Ooh. Do you want some t -t -t tea? Yuri stammers out of that question like a mon lo like a lawn mower with a faulty start line. Uh, welcome back, I guess, dummy. The word dummy resonates in my head. Hi, Finn. Good to see you all again, too. So, uh, what all have you guys been reading? Well, I've been reading manga, manga as usual. She asked about what you were reading, Natsuki. Manga is literature! Mm -hmm. Defeated, Natsuki marches off to her corner in the club room. The rest follows suit, off to do their own thing. I decide to see... I decide to go see what Sayori's up to. It appears she's currently... Ooh, uh, wing in her loop. Also, forget, um, forgive me for the um, background noise because again, noisy neighborhood. But I don't care in the slightest. What? What did Monica did back there? Oh, hey Finn, what's up? Not much, but I wanted to see what you were up to. Oh, I'm just... I forgot. How did she... Right, cliche mod. <laughs> I get it. Oh well, how are you feeling? What? What the? <laughs> Sayori's mother fight pass! 
fort fortcast i was gonna say fortcast but that's my uh that's uh i i'm such a dumb dumb where's this going well i'm glad you asked i'm weathering i'm weatherette sayori with channel 9 news there's <laughs> there's no way that's a real term <laughs> Oh, that face though. I can't. I can't. <laughs> okay, okay, fine. Partly cloudy. Well. Okay. Huh. Anyways, can you buy me a cookie? Uh, sure. Yay. Thanks, Finn. Sayori jumps up and down as she wraps her arms around me in a bear hug. All right, all right. <laughs> Sorry. We step out of the club room and we're greeted by a vending machine. Oh, it's glorious. The glorious floating magical vending machine. And uh, I would like to have either a Butterfinger or a Crunch. Or wait, are those are those pizza? i never seen pizza boxes in a... Um, a vending machine before but uh eh, I, I don't know hold on since when did vending machines float i don't know <laughs> sayori shrugs sorry guys i hear a distant shout from the club room what and there where'd it go i wanted a cookie suddenly the vending machine reappears against the wall huh Without questioning it, I slide an unnamed currency into the slot. Is it yen? Is it dollars? Maybe one of those quids? Guess we'll never know. Sayori's eyes widen as I conjure up a chocolate chip cookie. This magic, my dear. <laughs> oh, I, I, I accidentally hit my mic. Um, magic. It's beautiful. Aww. I, uh... I know my face is kind of blocking it, but I guess she's uh, in, she's crying tears of joy now. Alright then. I toss Sayori the cookie and she finishes in seconds. So good. Thank you, Finn. What did I say about finishing eating before you talk? Sorry. Alright, you ready to walk home? Sure. <laughs> okay. What? Sayori, why the heck are you meat spinning right now? Sayori, who is currently meat spinning for some reason, and I walk home. I get the urge to ask her about her wowing earlier, but I don't want to come off as intrusive. Instead, I decide to ask about her day. So, uh, how was her day? 61 degrees. Fahrenheit or Celsius? Eh, I don't know. Alright then. We end up walking home in a calm silence. Eventually, we say our goodbyes and enter our respective houses. See ya, Finn. <laughs> and now she's just on a um, on an angle. But you know what angle it is? An acute angle. <laughs> See ya, Sayori. Well, nothing to nothing relevant to do at home yet. I guess it's time to go to sleep. We sleep. I mean, it kind of makes sense considering that I'm sleep deprived. Ah, morning. Time to see what Sayori is up to. After all, she's the important one in this route. Indeed. And I didn't regret in the least because I flippin' love her. Wait, what? What was that? What's that? What about the club? That doesn't matter anymore. We only care about Sayori now. Exactly! I got out of bed and tactically rolled down my stairs. Hi, Finn. Ah, well, what are you doing in my house? I thought I paid you a surprise visit, just like when we were kids. Ah, uh, okay, that makes sense. Hey, remember that one time we insert event here when we were kids? Oh yeah, I totally do. Fun times. So, you want to get some food or something? Uh-oh. Alright, you know what she's uh, what she's on right now. She's on chowder mode. I love food. What? <laughs> food. I guess I should follow her. So, Sayori, how are you feeling today? Oh, 
this background I've seen this in a mod before I think but I haven't played it myself but hey eh, I'm pretty sure I've seen this before in some mod videos I watched but still I am entirely motivated by food so I'm great glad to hear it a pause comes over us as neither of us can think of what to say but it isn't awkward really the two of us are just enjoying each other's presence and munching on fries it's quite nice just the two of us sitting across from each other me and my cute food vacuum waifu <laughs> wait a minute me and my cute food cute food vacuum waifu is it just me and you <laughs> i got him that, that's a phrase you never expected to hear. <laughs> well, I just did, and uh, yeah, I would try to shut up about it, but I just can't because it's so freaking good. <laughs> hey, Sayori, this reminds me of all the times we went to this restaurant as kids. Oh, yeah. I still don't understand how you managed to burn down a restaurant you didn't work at. Heck, it only reopened last week. Eh? Don't remind me, Meanie. What? You did what? I mean, I understand you're a chowder and all, but please don't do that again. Alright, alright, I'm sorry. No biggie, Finn. Sayori killed 12 people that day. Okay, then. I can still remember the screams reverberating throughout the smoldering Jack in the Box trademark. <laughs> okay. Man, I'm stuffed. What about you, Sayori? My stomach is an abyss with infinite capacity for nutrients. Do you want me to, like, buy you more fries? It's fine. I'll be A-OK. -okay. If you say so. It seems our lunch date is coming to a close. But there's still plenty of light out, so maybe we can find something else to do. Hey, Say, uh, did you want to take a stop at the park on the way back? That sounds like fun. With Sayori's approval, the two of us depart to go to the park. Alright. Whoa! Whoa! What? <laughs> we. <laughs> Man, I didn't know I could swing a swing so fast! Oh no! <laughs> Is this like safe? I won't like turn her into a pancake or something. Oh my god! <laughs> Great, now I'm hungry again. No, I have to focus on my uh, focus on not letting my dearest friend know the love of my life die via via a concoction of centri centripetal force and wood chips. All right, I've got a plan. Yo, Sayori, let go of the swing! No! Don't do that! Just stop it! I have to shout for my voice to reach her in the heavens. Okay. With no hesitation, she lets go and is sent her leg towards the sun. What? Just gonna line this up? What? Everything will burn! Oh, what? Sayori, what what's wrong with you? Why are you why are you so, so why are you small of us all of a sudden? Nothing is free from the hell that I cast upon it. You will all perish beneath me. What? Whoa. Oh oh, she's here. Okay. 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 I'm pretty sure that's just my imagination. That's good. That's good. I'm starting to think this may be a problem of hers. Thanks for catching me. <laughs> I guess you could say you've fallen for me. I guess. Ah, <laughs> uh, real smooth there, MC. Or me. <laughs> what do you say we call it a day? I can only take one near-death experience near per part trip. Oh, like the time we met that weird football guy. Oh. Rest in peace, John Madden. You will, you will never be missed. I don't know exactly what she's talking about, nor do I want to know. 
Well, you guys already know because let's not dwell upon that too much because it's uh it's quite sad that yeah it, it, no no yeah exactly like that so uh see you tomorrow yeah i had a great time it's been a while since we ha last hang out like this when's the last time we spent time together outside of school anyways probably when you burnt down that movie theater What's up with Sayori burning down stuff? I mean, I get a, I get the cliche that she's basically like burning down everything considering she did that with her own kitchen. Oh, I remember now. I remember all too well. Hey, don't judge me. The undercooked my popcorn. Ah, you and your food. Yeah, yeah, laugh it up. A brief pause overcomes us as we take in s the silence of our surroundings. Hey, Finn, there's something you should know. Yeah? What is it? What? Zooming in to her face or something? What's going on? Nani kore? What? Are you just gonna lean in for a kiss or something? Or... Okay. Just, uh... Just slowly zooming in on the cinnamon, cinnamon buns. Uh... Lips, face, whatever. What? I love you. Wait, what? I thought this is this was going to be another pitch for her self defense self defense use or whatever. You hurt me, Meanie. Uh yeah, I did. You just caught me off guard. Are you really that surprised? I mean, we've basically known each other for our known each other our whole lives. Well, yeah, that's basically the only thing we talk about. I, uh, love you too. R really? Didn't you say, didn't you just say it wasn't, su wasn't surprising you had feelings for me? What makes it different the other way around? Well, yeah, but it's me we're talking about. I haven't s even seen another guy in my life, and there's three or two cute girls you can go for in the club. Which, wouldn't you rather be either of them? I love you, Sayori, and I wouldn't have it any other way. And then we kiss or something. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool. You know, like, well, yeah, we kissed. So now that you're my boyfriend, you have to come help me make an ad for my self-defense news. Hey, MC or me, you just called it. Now we're going to do another ad for this thing. I've been played. Chop chop, Finn. I've got the video camera set up in my living room. And the green screen as well, because why the heck not? Hey! Oh, hey, Sayori. You're up early. You noticed. It sure is a sunny day. I look up. Yeah, it sure is. I meant more metaphorically, but yeah. You know what metaphors are? Nope. Oh. So, do you want to walk to school together? Sure. Yippee! Hey everyone, I have an announcement to make. Um, is it not Shadow the Hedgehog is not a huge bitch-ass motherfucker? <laughs> I mean, if she does, then she would definitely piss on the moon or something. Don't even think about that. <laughs> All of the club members turn to address Sayori. I am depression. Do you mean have depression? Don't do, don't ruin this for me, Yuri. I'm sorry. Well, what? <laughs> well, that's uh, suddenly scary there. Ahem. 
We are very proud of you for telling us and support you inde indefinitely. Even if I burn things to cope with my sadness? What? What? Oh. Yeah, sure. Knock yourself out. Please don't encourage her. The reckoning is knifing. The flames of cleansing will turn everything in this world to ash. Writers, a little help here. What? Howdy. Oh, hey Finn. I've been, uh, waiting for you. We decided to go on a field trip today. Since now that you're in a relationship, the club isn't really relevant anymore. So we're giving you one last hurrah. But first, poem sharing. Get ready to write. Okay, it's been a while I did that, but... Okay, it's time to write a poem. Bloody bloody. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. I mean, saves me a lot of time, so, um, <laughs> now I know what kind of poem I'm going to write today, and it's literally called <laughs> Off. So, um, <laughs> let's, uh, let's see here. Uh, cough, 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 20 times in a row. And Sayuri just jumps that it's, well, completely, yeah. <laughs> so, like, uh, fuck off and, um... <laughs> I just can't! I literally just can't! <sighs> I just can't. <laughs> I just can't. Ah. Uh. That's some VA comedy for you there. And quality. Yeah, I thought so. Oh well, it's picnic time. Hold on, I never agreed to this. But can you stop me? Fair. Monica smiles taunting me. Okay everyone, I think it's time we eat. Yay, I'm so hungry. Is she ever not hungry? I mean, she's the chowder, what would you expect? I brought us all sandwiches, what do you all bring? Cupcakes, what else would I bring? And what about you, Sayori? I, uh, forgot to bring anything. Oh, well, that just leaves you, Yuri. What about me? You don't matter. <laughs> wow! Wow! <laughs> now, Yuri? Uh, he, he, yes. Yuri gingerly pulls out a bottle of wine. Wow! Yuri, alcohol is bad or something. I'm sorry. As much as I like to take a drink, this is still official club business. Well, as much as I like to see how this goes, fellow knights, but I'm sorry, this will be it for this episode. But don't you guys worry, there will always be another episode. Wait a minute. Another episode? Is this the first VA mod that is finally an episodic series? Oh, <laughs> for the first time ever, I'm actually kind of surprised with that one as well because... Well, it makes sense considering that they did say that this mod is going to be long. So, uh, hey, that means more episodes and more content for you guys. So, hey, hey, and yes, I am definitely going to play through this mod and, uh, well, all the routes rather and see how this goes. So, yeah, um, if you guys like what you're seeing and enjoy what you're watching, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and of course, subscribe if you haven't already. It'll help me a huge bunch in making more content like this. And click on the bell notification to be notified. And if you want to play this mod for yourself, as always, link in the description below. Oh boy, the first ever um, VA mod that is definitely going to be an episodic series. So, uh... Yee hooray, yee hooray. <laughs> I got nothing else to say about that. So with that being said, thank you guys all so much for watching. Finn the Dark Knight signing off, and I'll see you guys next time. And as always, stay awesome and have fun, fellow knights and adventurers.